Mayorga, retreating pass. Stabile in front, and Argentina has scored. You felt it mounting, the pressure building, and they break through in the 30th. In the replay, Laroca and Stabile, both of them are running in, and they have these mixed runs. Laroquette's able to just hit the corner of her head. Something that's all you need is just to make contact with it. And again, incredible I, effort. I gotta give credit to Argentina on the balls they've been serving in this game have been absolutely incredible. The spin on the ball just makes it so easy for a forward. All they have to do is connect with it and it's going to go into the back of the net. Sabrina Davis having to cover a large amount of net behind her. By Laroquette. Mariana with a beauty in the box off of her head. And on the press. At least Flake is there trying to clean it up. Flake with possession. Correa. One time shot, and it's a score! Ashton Brockbeck making that look easy. He has a wide open net. A lot of players would panic to find that sort of opportunity, but she just hits it one time into the back of the net. At least Flake. Talk about composure. Gets the ball, looks up, sees her teammate. The Cougars have 52nd minute. Elise Flake pulls Correa out and then back to Ashton Brockbank, far post. Beats that last line of defense over Barroso's foot and into the netting from Provo, Utah. You think she'll remember that goal? <laughs> no, definitely. Corner kick can't quite get to that ball as it deflects off the leg of Braby. Quick restart on the ground, and a shot for Argentina. Smith with the right-hand stab and save over the crossbar. Yeah, Cassidy doing a good job of just punching it right over. Reset your defenses, or excuse me, your defense. Bravo lined it up. Laroquette, far post. Again to the feet of Bravo. Oof. And another near goal for Argentina as that ball is deflected once again over the crossbar. Another corner as Laroquette hustles over to the other side. Here is Argentina with a beautiful buildup. Crossover, open net! Oh, what a save by Smith! Smith, oh my heavens, Cassidy comes in. Sometimes you just gotta throw your body in the way and that's what she does. Smith sacrificing the body once again as that ball goes off the head of Laroquette flies over the crossbar. Wow. Look at that kick save. It's about making yourself as big as possible. You're running towards the ball. You don't have all the balance. All you got to do is make yourself take up as big. Far side of the 18. Braby lining up a left-footed shot. That's off the crossbar. Still in play. And now... Left-footed cross. Danger area. Oh, goodness. I think Michaela Coolahan saw it. I think her, you could see her eyes get big. All that space in front of her. Ellie Mon once again trying to clean that up. That cross deflected a few times. Coolahan there. Mon does a good job. Just Opportunity goes awry there for BYU as that corner never really had a chance to do anything or force any type of pressure. So Ballstead will want that one back, but uh, not going to happen. And here comes Argentina. 74th minute, we remain tied at one. You can feel the tension. Oh, it's wonderful. The nerves, <laughs> it just, again, we don't feel this often in the spring schedule for BYU, but uh, given the circumstances, and now some more physical play, and a shoving match as Lara Kett goes after Ella Ballstead. Yeah, well, it's funny, right as you mentioned the tension, the broadcaster's curse. So right as you mentioned the tension, Argentina goes at Ella Ballstead. But I, I don't know if they take attendance in spring games, Spencer, but I would love to see what the attendance is at this game because there are thousands of people here. There's probably friendly. Yeah, it's a friendly, it's a spring game. Oh, I mean, I this is the off season. Laura Kett, we and you saw the official he, he for a looks, moment grab for the red well, card. He still has it as in hand. Oh, and there it he goes. is going to send Lara Kett off the pitch. Wow. 
Argentina playing a man down. It's warranted, though. You, you can't after play come up and push somebody. I mean, referees are pretty lenient when it comes to physical play, but once the play is done, you can't come up and push someone from behind. Now, are they going to send Ballstead off as well? So, dual red cards. Third, uh, he's going to have the advantage in the midfield, but with both teams being down one, what I'm sure we're going to be seeing here, Spencer, is both. Advances you know, comes about in the future. You don't want to be the team that uh, gets a red card. Here are the Cougars. Oh, another opportunity, and Ashton Brockbank says that ball was tipped. It should be a BYU corner, and it is. How about Ashton Brockbank? Yeah, she had a good leaper. Actually, a very smart play there because Correa was a bit off her line. Correa should have been farther back. Coolahan approaching. A one-timer from Serracio. Date again. Serracio always gets one shot at least. And it's always a... Bravo. Some fancy footwork. Right-footed shot. That's a pretty unbelievable play. And a little toe-punch flip that Cassidy <laughs> Smith grabs. And uh, 10 on 10. Both sides. One player sent off after an altercation here. Midway through the second half. Menendez. Through Jefferson. Menendez! Oh! What a trying to bend play. it to the far post. Absolutely beautiful. That's actually looked very similar to the goal that Argentina scored in the, in the, excuse me, their first layer came in, took on one, two, three players, got into the box, and tried to hit it to Ooh, that far post. That close. Argentina really, really bringing out the tricks here. It's really fun play out there. 15 shots for Argentina, nine for BYU. The Argentine side also with the advantage in corner kicks. That's but here we go. From roughly 23 yards away, Serracio on the ground. It got through the wall. Correa, really no issues with that. In the stoppage time, second half. Here's Bravo, trying to create a lane. Bravo, right-footed shot. They like that far post shot. And I don't blame them. It's it's open. You know, Smith is doing the right thing by Tells. She recognizes that's the easiest shot, so she takes up the space there. But it does leave the far post behind her. To show for it, BYU with 10 shots and also what a one ball. goal. Beautiful ball ahead to Braby. Lizzie Braby! And she misses wide left. Oh, what a, it was a beautiful ball to come into her. That it, it is hard to take out of the air. It is hard. Braby. Talk about another player that's also having a really good night. Lizzie's having her opportunities as well. And that is it. One minute of stoppage time. What a match. Argentina won. BYU won in front of a packed house at Southfield in Provo, Utah. And what an amazing game. We had everything. We had red cards. We had hitting the post. We had some fancy footwork. We had highlight reel stuff. I mean, for those who are watching, this was a great game. You picked a great way to spend your Thursday night because this was world-class soccer right here.